Hello everybody, my name is Bear and this is Abzu. Let's play. No explanation needed, let's dive into it. Well, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Alright, this is a game made by Giant Squid, published by 505 Games. Giant Squid is a new developer on the block, but they are led by Matt Nava, who is their creative director and was the art director behind two of my favorite PS3, yeah, PS3 games, Journey and Flower. So I'm really, really excited to play this. What is essentially going to be what I've heard, an underwater journey. I didn't really know much about it until recently, so... I've got basically a completely blind perspective going into this. And apparently we all do too! Pitch black, hooray! That was quite the transition. But here is our character. The diver. And bam. We're dropped in. Very similar start to Journey if you ever played it. Which I highly recommend doing. In fact, it's... it's Required reading. Homework. Before you even begin to watch this, I need you to have played Journey. Not really, you can still watch it, but you should play Journey, it's real good. But here we go, it's Abzu. Pretty simple control scheme, we're underwater, the, uh... The, the pitch and the yaw are actually, uh, defaulted to inverted, but I, I switched mine to normal, I just find it a lot easier that way. And I was, uh, I was testing out the waters here, quite literally. Swimming around, testing out my buttons, see what, see what we could actually do. And the control scheme, weirdly enough, it takes a little bit of getting used to. It actually reminds me a little bit of um, Shadow of the Colossus in that respect, where there's like a little bit of a, a unique feeling to the way that you move around in the water. But once you start to get it figured out, you can swim around pretty fluidly. Launch out. Come on back. It's pretty satisfying. I think I'm gonna mosey on around and uh, try to figure out what actually is going on here. So this is going to be, th this is far from a linear let's play. This is probably the furthest from that I'll ever get outside of playing just some open world survival game for 500 episodes. Who does that remind you of? Oh, shots fired. Anyway, I, sh I fire shots at myself there, honestly. I'm running a couple series that go, go the distance, but anyway. This is gonna be a, uh, a very open form sort of deal. I, I've heard that there are areas that you can explore, just places you can get to that just have all sorts of means of interpretation. So there's no straightforward directive here, it's just sort of a, hey, here's the ocean. See what you can do. Oh, alright, okay, we got a little bit of a barrier that way though, so it does want us to go through the chasm to start off with. I guess I can abide by those rules. You've got your journey ping in this game as well, I didn't realize that until uh, a few minutes in, but yeah, you've got your little ping attached to your helmet here, which does appear to draw the fish in, which is exciting. Oh, go for a little lift with me, buddy. Yeah! Oh, that was a bad st oh, Okay, hold on. No, we gotta fix this. That was just a terrible lift. All right. Y'all come with me. Gonna have the greatest undersea expedition of all time. Here we go. We're gonna boost it. Boost one. Boost two. Boost three. Yeah! Oh, man. Alright, let's go. I've had my fun. This big fish is calling my name. Diver. Nice to see ya. Oh, hold on. Okay, here we go. I am- I'm fully anticipating allowing the, uh, the scenery to do the job, absent of me. And goddamn, it's off to a good start. Oh man, I love this game. I played it for like 10 minutes, as I mentioned before, and it was so fun to just swim around in that area and leap around with the fish. I hadn't even gotten to the actual game yet. 
Oh my god, look at this. It's so satisfying. Completely open to explore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut through some weeds here. Let's see what's going on on the other side. Probably just gonna be a wall. I'd guess that's just a wall. Yeah, okay. We'll go like this way. Man, this there's nothing quite like these games, man. Flower's a little different than Journey. Let's let's be honest there. Flower has a lot more of a of a consistent theme and feel to it. Well, yeah, Journey does too. I'm I'm trying to say Journey feels more like a game. Flower feels more like an experience. But they are both experiences, but I think that I'm I'm seeing like a little bit of a fusion between the two of them here. An underwater to boot. Let's go for a ride real quick. These guys looping around down here, or are they all sort of just doing their own independent thing? Apparently this is a Goliath grouper. Going No Man's Sky style, going for alien life identification. Oh, hold up. Hold the phone here. Is this something we can do? Is that asking me to launch from point A to point B? That seems like it's all order. Oh, hello. Hello. Little engine? Oh, it's alive. Hi. Are you gonna... Are you gonna come with me? Oh, I like you. Hey, bud. Oh, I gotta, I gotta come up with a name for you. I'm gonna call you NG for engine. Also, a little bit of an FTL nod. All right, let's go, NG. Oh, this is fantastic! Look at this. Oh, the music is phenomenal. Let's go down here. Mysteries and wonders. Oh, that's from The Little Mermaid. Yep. That is from The Little Mermaid right there. That's a conch shell to call King Triton home. Anything could be something, man. I know that's just vague enough of a statement to cover all my bases, but... The world is just my oyster right now. Pardon all the undersea puns, I swear I'm not trying to do them on purpose. <laughs> They're coming out of me at a pretty good rate, though. Oh, yeah. Coral barrier, that's what I need to break through. Hold on, let's boost. Swim boost to break through! No, okay. Oh, my little Angie dude can do it, though, right? Oh, look at you! Hell yeah, Angie! Well, don't do not do that to me, though. Now that I know you have that disintegration ray, I'm a little less comfortable swimming around with you down here. I know you got a buddy down there. Hold on. Angie, meet Angie, too. We'll call this one Angie, just to keep it unique and creative. NG and Angie. Awesome. I don't know if I should get too connected to him yet. I don't know, this doesn't really seem like the kind of game to just... pair me up with a, be a buddy and immediately rip it from my grasp, right? Nah, we're, we're a little more... creative and... heartfelt here, right? I hope so. Sharks are probably still a problem, right? And the paradis uh, paradisical, paradisiacal, that's the word, right? And the paradisiacal word of Abzu world of Abzu. Sharks do still murder you. Uh-huh. There he's a little bit more dead than the previous one. 
music a bit foreboding too. Let's uh let's let's go over here. Oh hey, yeah. Another magic conch. What do those do? Oh, it just it looks like it's a collectible, okay. Did I miss anything over here? Can't actually go up unless I go up that way. Wonder if it helps me at all to go up and see if there's anything that I can you know, scope out on the other end. Try it out for a second here. Oh yeah. Nah, that's just <laughs> that's just ocean. That's all we can spot. Okay, well. Where are we heading now? I feel like I jumped up into a new area. What the heck? This looks unfamiliar all of a sudden. Hold the phone here. We, we oh no, we came up from there. We're we're up this way now. So yeah, I feel like I, oh hold on. Yeah, I got turned around a little bit. There we go. Okay, yeah, there's a little cave entrance down this way. Flip it around. There we go. Oh yeah, down. No, I I I swear I had it figured out. <laughs> there we go. They got like the little crabs running around on the ground and everything. Very lively place. Oh man, I can't wait to see what sort of new scenery we're gonna run into. This to me here in playing this game is just all about getting to the next area and seeing what that's gonna look like. I have a passing interest in what's going on with the diver and what's going on with this world, but mostly, in my opinion, it's just... Oh man, how pretty is the next place gonna be? Which may be a little bit of an unfair precedent to set, but... If anybody's gonna live up to it, I think it's gonna be these guys. Oh, speaking of being mysterious, though... This is just straight up an underwater cathedral. How do we get in there? How about a little ping? Angie and Angie, you got any answer to this? And over to the other side, maybe? No? You got nothing? Alright. We'll come back later. Unless... Oh, maybe this pillar or something? There might be something on the other side of it. Nah. Okay. No big deal. We've got alternatives. Hey, ooh. This is giving me a journey vibe. How about we go to the bottom first? So, I mean, my natural inclination here is swim into the massive pillar of light bear. But don't let my curiosity get to me just yet. Wait until I've maybe confirmed that there might not be anything else down here to look at. And then we can do this. Oh, wow! Oh, hey, it's that nebulous eye from before. Oh, are we swimming in the sky now? That was quick. Well, we've ascended into a supernatural being. Hope you enjoyed Abzu. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. I want to check out those fish, though. We can swim up here. Are we still underwater? I can't tell. I think we... Yeah, I think we are. Okay. No, it, uh, man, it totally looks like there's a... There's another... Ocean surface right here. So what, what happens if I swim down through this? Give myself the boost real quick. It does not like that. Okay. The human body was not meant for depths that unfathomable. So let's head over here. Looks like we may come back here. It looks like this is sort of a central point that we can maybe warp back to. But there was... Pardon me again for making the comparison, but in Journey there was a... Uh, there was what appeared to be sort of a central hub point that was pretty early on in the game. 
And you could completely ignore it if you wanted to, but if you used it, it would warp you to the later segments of the game, had you already been there. So this appears to be something maybe similar. Wow. What did we use to do that? Was that one of those seashells that we picked up under the water? Holy hell. Wow. And all of a sudden, this is the creature hub for undersea life. Man. This is so awesome. Oh, let's ride a manta ray. Yes. Oh my god, man. This is so great. I'm pretty sure he's not taking me anywhere meaningful, but I, I can't help but just enjoy riding on his back for a moment here. Oh, hold on, he might be getting an idea. No, okay, yeah, he's <laughs> he's a little limited. Oh my goodness. Hey, buddy. I want to get a closer look, hold on. I want to get right up in his face. I want to see the level of detail. There he is. Oh, man. Look at that lighting. Such a unique style, too. Like, there isn't a huge variety of color. It's mostly the same green, the same white, just a little dimmer, you know, but... They still manage to make it look so damn good. Don't touch the jellies. Where's Nick? Somebody tell him we got some jellies for him. Oh, here comes the uh, ancient Egyptian tie-in. You two decode hieroglyphics? Is that part of your function? No, you can do an adorable little backflip though. Okay, I guess that's a that's a suitable replacement. What about here? Got anything? They just tell me, yeah, beep. We don't know what it is either, but beep. Beep and a backflip. Do you still love us? Of course I still love you. Angie and Angie. My two eternal companions on this trip. The two constants, my two rocks. I assume. Huh. Oh, wow, that's a big old open area, man. OH MY GOD! Angie! What happened? Are, are you sad? You kind of got you got over it. I I noticed your eyelid box closed a little. Oh my god. L let me turn on a dime here though cuz holy shit, look look at the scale all of a sudden. Look at how big this is. Go 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 go. Yeah. Oh my god, it's so good. Oh, check this out, by the way. Stunt jumps. Stunt jumps! Woo! 
Because of course they had to add that in there, right? It's, it's like a, it's a button you can just ball up for some reason. I don't know if that's just exclusively to allow people to do front flips out of the water, which is fine by me! That one was bad. That's okay. Well, giant red triangle door seems appealing. Oh, it's blinking at me. That makes me extremely uncomfortable. Hi there. Oh, hell yeah. Wait, you're not coming, Edgy? Why isn't Edgy coming? I need my companions! The current! And I left my buddy behind. Damn it. Alright, well... I think this is a suitable ending point here for episode one, but hey, thank you very much for watching this episode of Abzu. And I'm gonna play the entire damn thing because, holy crap, I already am completely in love with this. So, hope you're uh, enjoying it, and I'll see you next time.